Welcome back to the channel guys. I am Alex the car guy and I know you guys have been waiting for this video and I'm happy to bring this to you. This is going to cover the Huddaway side and rear view cameras for the Huddaway heads up display system. Now if you're new to the channel I review cool car gadgets and other accessories that I find to trick out your vehicle. So if those are the kind of videos you like consider subscribing by hitting the button down below to see more videos like this. And if you'd like to get one of this Hudway heads up display system or this side and rear view camera add-on, remember I placed the link in the description down below along with that discount code to save you a little bit of money when purchasing the system and support the channel as well. If you have not seen the Hudway heads up display device, it is a really cool device. I have already made one review video showing its full capability and features and you may want to check out that video first before looking at this video as a lot of the things in here will not make sense if you are not familiar with the Hudway heads up display. I'll put a link in the description down below to that Hudway display review video that I made. There are two main accessories that can add additional capability to the heads up display system. One being the side and rear view cameras with the reversing radar. The second being the night vision module. So I have a night vision module coming up. Stay tuned for that one guys. But let's look at the side and rear view cameras. Now you may have seen a video already that Hotway has on this. I saw that video and I got familiar with the system but when I opened this up you realize very quickly that things have changed. <laughs> they have dramatically now made the system smaller. This box no longer looks like a prototype. Now it's a single box where they combine those two boxes that you saw on that video into a single box and simplifies the connections. You get two side cameras, one for the left side of the car and one for the right side of the car. Then you also get one rear camera. Now, this may look intimidating. There's a lot of cables in here. There's a lot of little accessories. For people who install dash cams or who install radios, this will not look intimidating at all. But for the average person, this is probably gonna be a little bit intense. <laughs> so what I wanna show you is this right here. They have put a little barcode on the box and I checked that website out and they have extremely detailed new instructions for this new kit. So first let's get familiar with all the parts in the kit. And this little box is where the magic happens. This controls the inputs for the cameras and combines them so they can be sent to the heads of display system. So this is where all the things are gonna be connected to. You can think of this as the brains of the camera system. And here's what the rear camera looks like. It's fairly small, you can see that here compared to the size of my hand. And they throw in this little bracket with some screws so it can be mounted and can be tilted. I do wish they had include double-sided tape because I'm not a fan of drilling into my car. I prefer to stick things with double-sided tape, high-strength double-sided tape. So I'll probably use that method for installation. And here's the reversing beeper and that is gonna connect to the rear camera. There's a little extra connector right here and that connects to the beeper and drives the beeper for we are when we are backing up and here's the main power cable that drives the video selector this is going to connect right here and it's going to provide power to it but it's also going to provide the video out signal to the heads up display system via this rca port and in order for us to connect that all the way up to the heads of display, they include this RCA extension cord, which has quite a bit of length, probably more than enough for any given car. And you get two side cameras, which are black in color. I'm not sure if they're gonna add additional option color options later, but I think black should pretty much blend in with everything. Now, each camera is labeled. One is labeled left and one is labeled right. So the left camera can be placed anywhere on the car as long as it's on the left side. And I'm gonna place that by literally sticking it to the side of the car because it has double-sided tape. And this is 3M, very high adhesion tape. So I'm gonna peel that and then stick this to the car. And same thing, the wire also has double-sided tape. So I'm gonna be able to place it and it's not gonna move as I hide it into the trim of the car. But as you can see, the total wire length is not very long. So how is this gonna reach the main box? Well, they include an extension for each camera. So you get one extension for the left camera and you get one extension for the right camera. And you get this little cable with this little joystick. <laughs> Pretty cool. It reminds me of the old school Ataris for those who grew up around that 
that time like I did. And the joystick is not really needed. The system can actually change the view automatically when connected to the blinkers of the car. So this is just a way to manually override that or if you don't want to interface it to the blinkers of your car, you can just drive and select what view do you want to view on the heads of display system with this little joystick. So that's pretty cool. And you get this wire bundle that can be used to tap into the blinker lights of our car and then this is going to go connect right here and that's going to allow the HUD way camera system to switch to the left or to the right depending on what your blinkers are doing and you get this set of three cables they are identical and what they do is they take the camera wire and from this circular connector and it changes it into the Y connector so it can be plugged in into the box right here you can see in here that it has been labeled front camera left camera right camera rear camera and you get this little baggie of wire taps that allow us to tap into our car's wiring without having to use any special tools. And I love when they include my favorite tool. This is a little plastic pry bar. This makes installation a lot easier because whenever I'm inserting a cable into the trim of the car, I don't have to remove the panel. I literally use this little bar to push the wire into the trim of the car, making installation a breeze. And this is probably my favorite cable of all of them. And here's why. I don't actually have to hook it up. <laughs> but here's why it's my favorite cable. This is what will drive the night vision camera if you decide to buy the night vision camera. And it's also gonna connect right here. That's why it says front for the front camera system. And this is what the Hudway side camera system looks like. As you can see right now, the Hudway is acting like before, like if we had no camera system, it is displaying the default view. However, if I select my left blinker, we will see the left side of the cat of the car <laughs> and it's pretty neat to actually see this displayed in front of you especially when you're driving and not having to uh, turn all the way around because there's a potential blind spot same thing if i select my right blinker the the view will switch to the right side of the car so it's quite convenient that the system automatically does that for us by changing detecting the blinker signals now if we were to put the car on reverse the view would also change to the reverse camera now the reverse camera is quite interesting because it has two features which is the first one being the reversing guidelines and I, you know i see reversing guidelines in backup systems but i to see them in a heads-up display it's pretty neat as you can see, there is a little bit of green that indicates that we're getting close to an object. Then there's a little bit of yellow, which is wearing very close. And then red, we would not want to back up further. Now, the other thing I want to point out is towards the top, you see these little green lines? Those little green lines will turn into numbers. As we get closer to a particular object, there is a radar system on here. So it will give us a reading. But if at any given point in time, we wanted to control the system entirely, we can do that with the joystick. If I click the joystick to the left, It'll show me the left side of the view click it one more time and it falls back to the standard hardware view and same thing i can click it to the right or i can click it to the rear so technically you can wire the system two ways one is so it works with the signals of the car and the reverse light of the car and the other one will be just to install the joystick don't tap into the wire signals for the turn signals don't tap into the reverse light and just control it with the joystick so it has that flexibility where i want automatic or manual control but now let me show you the radar system for backing up and I had forgotten how challenging it is to get a video from the heads of display device because it is designed only to be viewed by the driver. So for me to be able to record it while also trying to see and see what it's doing, it's a little bit of a challenge, but hopefully you guys can get a good image and get a good idea of how this side camera system and backup camera system works. As you can see, we're about to back up right now. This is a garage door and we can use the grid lines in the bottom to get an idea of how close we are to the object. But towards the top, we'll see some numbers as the radar picks up the distance. And we're getting closer now to this door, but I'm not outside, so I'm not exactly sure how much distance I have. I'm doing this entirely by viewing it through the heads of display. And we're getting closer to the green now, and we can see on here, now we are about 1.8 meters away, 1.6 meters. And also, I don't know if you can hear this, there's a beeping. Remember, there's a beeper installed in the back of the car, and it's actually quite loud, even though it's all the way to the back, and that beeping sound increases tit, 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 as we get closer to the object. And we can also see the numbers continue to decrease. Let's move a little bit closer very carefully. 
<laughs> 1.5 meters. Now, one meter right here, we're about three feet away from the object. Three feet also notice that the lines are now, we're in the yellow. So now we gotta be real careful. Any more closer than this and we can potentially hit the object. Notice the beep too. <laughs> it got faster. Now, you know, the, the beeping is nice, but I really like the numbers. I think they're a lot more accurate. And the beeper, I think over time, it might get old. The beeper is optional. I, I will probably disconnect the beeper, but it is there. I mean, it is it is really meant for the driver. It's not meant to alert people that you're backing up, but I will tell you, it's very loud. Let's get just a little bit closer. <laughs> okay, so now we are very, very close. We're about half a meter away. That's about one and a foot, one and a uh, foot and a half. Any more than this, and I will probably risk hitting this gentleman's garage door. But that's how the backup system works. And this is how it can help us to back up safely either into uh, a closed area such as a wall or parking in a tight space. But I know you guys may wanna see the side cameras while driving. And I will tell you, like I said, I have a tripod in front of me, so it's extremely difficult to do this, but let me attempt to drive a little bit forward so you can see how the video looks when we are moving. And if we had the view selected, for example, in this case, the left side view, <laughs> this is what the side camera looks like. And if I was going towards the right, that's what the right side camera looks like. So it's pretty fluid. I, I, I constantly review backup camera systems and other side camera systems. This is just as fluid as those, except that it has the advantage that is being pro, uh, projected in front of our line of sight. And here's what the Hudway backup camera looks like at night. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit slowly here. Uh, this backup system does not have infrared light and you can still see pretty good at night. There are two LEDs as you saw during the unboxing and I think that helps to light up the road since we don't have infrared night vision. Now we also have the lights, the normal backup lights from our car helping. So I think the combination of those onboard lights from the car and the two LEDs from the camera system give us a good visibility at night. And I do wanna show you what the side camera looks like at night. Obviously the left side will perform uh, the same as the right side. Now the street I mean does have some street lightning. However, there is, it's dark. And you, the, the side cameras are not equipped with any side LEDs or infrared light. This is just the performance of the camera itself. So we, we can see that we can still use them at night. But now let's talk about the installation. As you can see, I mounted the rear camera and radar on this side right here and then I fed the wire into the trunk now some people actually drill holes to get this wire to go through I don't like to drill holes I actually use any existing opening so you can hear there you see that there's a light here which I popped up a little bit and then whoop, I was able to slide the cable into the trunk but this will vary from car to car so it's always good to explore the car and see what areas will be the easiest way to route before moving to installation also notice that i did not use the included bracket i used the double-sided tape and i wanted to do that because i can just go whoop, and stick the camera to the trim without having to drill anything and it also allows it to be reversible. I can just pop that off and place that anywhere else if I wanted to without leaving holes behind. I also wanted to show you how the lights in the reversing camera looks like. <laughs> and here's the beeping. You can actually hear how loud it is that I showed you earlier. And obviously it's picking up whatever I come close to the radar, but they don't seem very bright here during the day. I am telling you, these things are very bright at night. It actually hurts my eyes to look at them. But I also wanna show you behind the trunk so you can see the wiring. Now, some trunks are gonna have a lot of accessibility where everything is exposed. This one does. Some cars will have covers that will have to be removed to get access to the underneath. And as you can see on here, here is the wire that is coming from the outside. And here is where I mounted the beeper, which has a double-sided tape, so I just stuck it on there. And then I just fed the wire this way. And and I made it popped out of here. I basically made it follow the original wire harness that is mounted in the car. This is the box that controls everything. And you can see on here that I'm about to hide this underneath the trunk, so it won't be visible, but I wanted to show it to you before I hide it. The very first cable you can see right here, this is power, as I showed you earlier what each cable does. This second set of cable is what is going to the turn signals and the stop uh, reversing light. And this is what enables the automatic switching of the cameras.
Now on this side we have three cables, well, two for each side camera and one for the rear camera. So it's pretty straightforward because everything here is labeled. And like I said, the box is gonna be hidden down there so it won't be visible. Now on this side right here, you can see that there are a couple other connections. The yellow one is the video out to the Hudway device and the black one is going to the joystick that allows me to control the cameras manually. And if you're curious on how to tap into the reverse lights of the car or the turn signals, I have a whole video dedicated to tapping into the wires of a car. I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanna see that process. And here's what the side camera looks like installed. I peel the adhesive back and then I just stuck it to the car. And with the door open, we can see how the wire wraps around the panel. And because the wire itself had also double-sided tape it sticks to the panel and it goes towards the inside of the car and this is a great view of the side camera cable you know the side camera is there and the cable follows this way and because of the double-sided tape it sticks to the body of the car now when the cable gets to the trim I use the spatula tool to insert it into the trim to further conceal it and for the joystick that can manually control the cameras I thought about placing the joystick somewhere in here but then I decided to get creative and hide it so it's actually located in here <laughs> and I just fed the wire through the back of this panel that can come off and that way I can access the joystick but when I don't need to use it it's out of sight and that was the Huddaway side camera and rear backup camera system and here are my final thoughts on it do I think you should hop on that system if you already have a Huddaway well I gotta tell you it definitely brings the Huddaway device up into a whole other level because before, yeah, it was giving you directions, it was giving you your speed, but now you have the ability to back up and see behind you. And I love the radar, the fact that it can tell you how far you are actually are, like an actual measurement. I have not seen that in any backup system that I have reviewed so far yet. Now, you would have noticed that it is on meters, so I wish they, uh, in the future they will offer that in also feet for uh, adults that are in the United States. However, because they're kind of small numbers, I I'm able to use it without any issue. One meter is three feet. So when I get to one meter, I know I have three feet of space behind me. When I get to half a meter, I know I have about a foot and a half before I am about to hit an object. Now, the other thing about the camera system is that if you're looking for something that's super high resolution and you, know, you have infrared back, uh, back lighting, then at that point you might be better off looking at a standalone backup camera system. However, I will tell you that those systems do not come with side cameras. So now you're looking at more expense because you're gonna have to buy the backup camera system and you're gonna have to buy side camera systems separately. So the cost starts to add up. Then if you install a backup camera system that has its own screen that we're gonna have to find a place on the dash to install where the Hudway has the advantage of being all in one interface, that clear overlay where it's projected in front of you. So there's no ugly screen that sticks out on top of your dash. Also, if you happen to buy the rear camera for your car separately, and then you buy a separate side camera system, those systems are probably not gonna work together. So you might end up now with two screens, one for the backup camera system and another screen that you're gonna also have to find, find a place to put in the dash for the side cameras. And this is where I think, um, how do we really hit the nail in the head? Providing a system that combines three cameras into their one single heads up display system it makes it so much easier and so much convenient. Now, as far as installation, it is not more difficult than installing a dash cam. It involves the same thing, running wires to the back of the car, in some cases, tapping into the reverse light of the car or the reverse turn signal. Again, this is optional. This is if you wanna automate the process. Otherwise, it can all be controlled with a joystick. Now, for folks like myself who are installing dash cams all the time, installation didn't take very long. However, if for somebody who has never installed a dashcam system, it'll probably be best to take it to a professional installer to have that installed for you. So if you remember, I placed a link in the description down below if you guys wanna look at the system further or acquire one for yourself. If you have any other questions regarding the installation or the functionality of the camera system, please put that in the comments down below and stay tuned as I do have more gadgets coming up for your car, including the night vision for the Hudway Drive. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.